Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to Android Apps Weekly. This is episode number 129, so let's get to it. Google has a new feature in their Gmail application called Gmailify. This gives your non-Google email accounts Gmail features such as spam filtering and a whole lot more. All you have to do is sign into your non-Gmail accounts in the Gmail app and then enable the feature to get started and of course you can unlink them at any time. Right on schedule, Nintendo has opened up the pre-registration for their upcoming Miitomo game on mobile devices. You'll have to create a Nintendo account to do so which doesn't take all that long. This is one step closer to release but we still don't have an exact date just yet. An app annie report was released this week that predicts that the Google Play Store sales and revenue should triple by 2020, which is outpacing the Apple App Store. That's good news for Google fans and especially for Google, along with all of the Google Play developers. This is most likely thanks to emerging markets buying smartphones for the first time. The latest Humble Bundle is now live. This week will feature a bunch of Chemco games, which are all JRPG titles. They provide many hours of gameplay and decent storylines. You can pay $1 for all three games, beat the average for three more games, or pay $6 and get every game. It was announced this week that Google Play Games will be supporting custom gamer tags in the near future. This is a great addition for those who may not want to game with their real names and gives gamers the chance to be a little bit creative. It's rolling out right now and should reach you soon. For even more Android apps and games news, releases, and updates, don't forget to check out this week's newsletter, which is linked in the video description below. There we'll have a ton of stuff that we didn't have time for here. If you would like, you can sign up for the newsletter using the form that's in the written companion, which is also linked in the video description below, and get it sent to your inbox every Sunday. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the apps and games that made a big splash this week. As usual, if you want to check any of these apps or games out, you can find those links in the video description below. Splash Cars is a fun little free roaming game where you drive a car around that drops paint so you can literally paint the town. The mechanics are relatively simple and the premise is easy to understand. You drive around painting stuff to add color all while being tailed by the police. There are power-ups that can hinder the police and you can even turn folks to your cause. It's a time waster to be sure, but it's a good little diversion that's worth checking out. Foodie is a free camera application that was released by Line, the well-known chatting and call service. It's an easy camera application that has 26 built-in filters that are specifically made to bring some pizzazz to your food photography. On top of the filters, there are also some lightweight editing tools to further enhance the images, auto blurring, and a guide is included to help you make the best of it. It's entirely free with no in-app purchases, and that means that there's no harm in trying it out. Game Battles is an esports gaming platform that lets players compete against one another, form teams, prepare matches, and all kinds of other stuff. The application is an extensive of the service and it lets you check up on upcoming matches, view your profile, and see any achievements you may have earned. It's a little simple, but it looks nice and seems to work smoothly. If you do any competitive gaming, it may be worth looking into this one. Wolfram has released a beta application for Wolfram Cloud, which is an app that taps into their popular web service. Using this application, you can access the Wolfram programming cloud and continue working on projects you may have there. Of course, most people who are interested in the application like this already use the service or are intending on using it. Still, the application seems to work pretty well and it's a great addition if you use Wolfram Cloud already. Bombing Bastards Touch is an unapologetic Bomberman clone that uses a lot of the same concepts and ideas. The game features 30 puzzle maps across 5 worlds for you to play through. Each one will be riddled with puzzles, bad guys, and power-ups to help you along the way, and there are even boss fights. What makes this game unique is that it's entirely free with no in-app purchases, and it's probably the best game at this price point that we've seen in a very long time. Go ahead and check it out. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy. Why you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below, and don't forget to sign up for that newsletter. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.